In League of Legends, there are three items that gain stacks and bonuses whenever a champion owns the item and gets a kill or an assist. These items are the Leviathan, the Sword of the Occult, and the Magi's Soul Stealer. Many refer to these as snowball items. On today's episode of Lawmath, we'll take a look at how cost-effective these items can be based on how many stacks they have. First, let's look at how stacks work. If a champion owns any of these items and gets a kill, the item gains two stacks. If a champion gets an assist, the item gains one stack, and if a champion dies, the item loses a third of its stacks. Keep in mind that an item won't gain stacks until a champion owns it, and each item has a maximum of 20 stacks. Now that we've covered stacks, let's take a look at the Leviathan. The Leviathan costs 1,275 gold and grants 180 health. For every stack, it grants an additional 32 health, and will also cause a champion to take 15% less damage at 20 stacks. Upon purchase, the Leviathan grants 1 health for every 7.08 gold. At the cheapest level, a Ruby Crystal grants 1 health for every 2.64 gold. The Leviathan will begin to be more cost efficient than a Ruby Crystal at 10 stacks when it grants 1 health for every 2.55 gold. The Leviathan will grant 1 health for every 1.55 gold when fully stacked. It takes the Leviathan more stacks than any other snowball item to become more cost efficient than the cheapest stat boosting item in its category. Let's take a look at the Magi Soul Sealer now. It costs 1,235 gold and grants 20 ability power. For every stack, it grants an additional 8 ability power and will also grant 15% cooldown reduction at 20 stacks. Upon purchase, the Magi Soul Sealer grants 1 ability power for every 61.75 gold. At the cheapest level, an Amplifying Tome grants 1 ability power for every 21.75 gold. The Magi Soul Stealer will begin to be more cost effective than Amplifying Tome at 5 stacks when it grants 1 ability power for every 20.58 gold. The Magi Soul Stealer will grant 1 ability power for every 6.86 gold spent when fully stacked. Finally, let's take a look at the Sword of the Occult. It costs 1,369 gold and grants 10 attack damage. For every stack, it grants an additional 5 attack damage and will also grant 15% movement speed at 20 stacks. Upon purchase, the Sword of the Occult grants 1 attack damage for every 136.9 gold. At the cheapest level, a Long Sword grants 1 attack damage for every 41.5 gold. The Sword of the Occult will begin to be more cost efficient than a Long Sword at 5 stacks when it grants 1 attack damage for every 39.11 gold. The Sword of the Occult will grant 1 attack damage for every 12.45 gold when fully stacked. A Sword of the Occult will grant the same amount of attack damage as a full Bloodthirster at 18 stacks, and will grant the most attack damage possible in a single item at 20 stacks. In conclusion, Snowball items are a risky purchase due to how unpredictable champion kills and assists can be. However, if one knows the exact cost effectiveness of the Leviathan, Sword of the Occult, and Magi Soul Stealer, they will definitely know if the time is right to buy a snowball item. This episode of Lawmath was brought to you by KillSteelGaming.com. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Lawmath, feel free to post in the comment section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Lawmath video by clicking on the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.